Hello everyone. So, welcome to Wednesday's lesson. As I told you, we will be starting with the algebra chapter 5. Uh, as there was no homework yesterday, so there is nothing to be checked. But uh, whoever got doubts, they did message me and I did try to clear their doubts. And I hope it's clear for you. I know the only confusion in the last lesson was about those um, theorems, how to use and why did we use this, why did we not use that. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit confusing to understand that, but whoever had asked me the doubts, I hope I have made it clear for you. I also, I'm also trying my best just to explain whatever I can and to make everything clear for you, but that's all we can do. You can ask me, I can only explain it because again, we are not here face to face. So I have no idea how you girls are understanding it. Um, so let's just start with the algebra lesson. Uh, anyhow, it's going to be the most favorite lesson for most of you because uh, all the most of you like algebra. Uh, starting with chapter 5 and this chapter 5 we are going to be dealing with systems of equations and inequalities of course we will be having equations and inequalities and we will be learning how to solve and this is going to be one of the very important lesson for you because this is the starting way you need and then you will be of course using it throughout all your grids so uh, to start with and this is the chapter. I forgot to get the print out of the whole lesson. I don't know why. Even I'm not mindful these days. So lesson one, uh, that's about solving systems by graphing. Now again, you will have to get your graph books out. Okay, so this is your lesson, page 329. Okay. So in page 329, we have this lesson, uh, the first lesson, which is solving systems by graphing. Now, uh, there are, again, I have divided the lesson into two parts. The first day I will teach you the easy one and the next day it's not difficult, only that you have to graph it. So today, of course, we will not be graphing this. We will only learn how to uh, say the ordered pair is a solution of the given system. So there are two parts for this lesson. One is they have given you the ordered pair. That means they have given you the coordinate and they are asking you whether that is a solution for the system. And the other one, they are giving you the equations. You have to graph it and say what is the solution, or what is the ordered pair for the solution. Okay, so to start with, we have here the definitions of a system of linear equations. Now, it is not clear enough because I have zoomed it. Uh, so you can read from your book the system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations containing two or more variables so what is a system of linear equation it is a set of two or more linear equations you will get of course now linear equations linear means you know straight so all of these uh, equations lines are going to be straight not a curve one okay um, with two or more variables so a solution of a system of linear equation with two variable is an ordered pair so what is the solution for these two equations linear equation which they have given is a ordered pair it means the value of x and the value of y okay so let me without dragging it further let me just show you uh, how to solve these kinds of questions here they, this is the kind of question we are going to be learning today Tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the given system. Okay, so we are just going to say this is the ordered pair which is given. And this is one of the linear equation and this is another of the linear equation. So first let me name it as 1 and 2 so that it will be clear for you. Uh, as I don't have the book page, so I am just writing it down here. The equation, the linear system ordered pair given for you is 4 and 1 and which is the equations linear equations which are given x plus 2y equals 6 and the other one is x minus y equals 3 okay so let me name this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 
Now this question you only need to check. Just check whether this is an answer for this equation. That's all. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a table like that. It's a tea table. Uh, tea table, not the one we serve tea. <laughs> this is also called as a tea table in math. Okay. So, what you are going to do here is you are going to write the equation. So, this one I am writing the first equation x plus 2y equals 6. Okay. Now, what am I going to write here? I am going to separate these two, uh, this equation into two parts. This is going to be one part of the equation. So, I am going to write here x plus 2y equals, I am not going to put the equal sign because that is why we drew the line and the other side of the equation we have 6. Which means when we substitute, when we replace the x and the y with these values and solve this equation, this side of the equation we need to get 6. So, you, as usual you know this is x and this is y. Okay, so what is the value of x? It is 4. Plus, what is the value of y? It is 1. So, in place of y, I write multiplied by 1. This side, it has to be 6 always. Okay, so 4 plus 2. 2 ones are 2. This side must be 6. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. Also, this side is 6, which means our this is this ordered pair is a solution for the equation which is given. Okay. So, this is how you need to solve to check whether the equation given is a system, uh, is that the ordered pair for the given two systems. This is called a system, system of linear equations because they are two linear equations. Okay. So, this is how we check whether the ordered pair which is already given for us in the question is it a solution or not. If both sides of the equation is giving you the same number, same number as this, yes it is. Now, you cannot stop with 1. You need to of course do for the second equation too. Again, draw the t table. Okay. So, what is the equation number 2 which they gave us? x minus y equals 3. So, we are going to write x minus y equals 3. Okay, so what is x minus y here? So, we write here x minus y, it should give us 3. What is x? x is from the ordered pair, you have to find. I am just trying my best to focus it. Mm. So, it is x is 4, y is 1. So, in place of x, we write 4. In place of y, we write 1. And we always write 3 because in the system, it is 3. So, 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. This side is 3. So, are the two sides equal? Yes, they are. Which means this uh, ordered pair which is given as 4 and 1 is a solution for these two systems. Okay, I hope it is clear. It is a very easy one. Just that you need to write each equation in a T table and find out whether both sides are balancing or not. Okay, to make the thing more uh, clear for you, let us start doing... A question from 1b, uh, page 329. I am doing this question. This. Don't look at the answer. Okay, I am doing 1b. So, first let me write down the question. If you can solve it before me, please do solve it. I am just showing it so that you will have a clear picture of how to solve the question. So, the ordered pair given for us is 2 minus 1 and the systems, the two systems given, the two linear equations given is x minus 2y equals 4 and 3x plus y equals 6. So, how are you going to be solving these? This is the question. Okay, 2 minus 1, 2 and minus 1 is the ordered pair given. So, what I have you, first what do you need to do? You need to write x and y. Okay, so this is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. Okay, so what is the first step you are going to do? 
draw a tea table okay write the first equation that's x minus 2y equals 4 okay so x minus 2y equals 4 what's the next thing you're going to do right here the value of x that is 2 minus what's the value of y minus 1 so 2 multiplied by minus 1 and this side what should be the number always it should be 4 okay so 2 minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 is going to give you plus 2 right when you multiply two negative numbers it's going to be a plus so two ones are two so this side should always be 4 2 plus 2 is 4 so this side is also 4 which means for this equation yes this is an ordered bit okay now let's try for the other equation again draw the t table you do it neatly because I'm writing it straight I cannot do it neatly so the equation is 3x plus y equals 6 okay <clears throat> so what are the two coordinates which they gave us 2 and minus 1 x is 2 so in place of x I write 3 multiplied by 2 and y was minus 1 so plus is already in the equation minus 1 which means plus into minus will give you minus so 3 2's are 6 and minus 1 this side also it should be 6 6 okay so why did I again I'm repeating why did I write here as minus 1 you know here there is no number means 1 so my plus 1 multiplied by minus 1 will give you a minus 1 so 6 minus 1 is 5 but here it is 6 which means 5 is not equal to 6 which means it is wrong so what can you conclude from these two now in one of the table it was right and the other table it was wrong which means this number this coordinate ordered pair which they gave us is not a solution for the system okay this is how you need to write is not a solution so i think this is clear for you girls and uh, so we can simply start doing the questions the related questions uh, so you have to open up page 332 uh, the space there is of course not enough so you have you will have to be doing it in a paper or in your copy books better in your copy books so this is I will be doing from question I'll be doing these questions question 2 3 4 um, 9 10 and 11 so for today we'll be doing question 2 3 4 9 10 and 11 so start doing the work uh, I'll give you one minute each for each question so you're what minute for question number one starts now
okay girls so i think you would have solved the equation uh, the question by now so let's see whether the answer you got is correct or not okay so this is the ordered pair which is given 2 and minus 2 so always you start by writing x and y so that you will know what are the values of x and y uh, this is going to be equation 1 and this is going to be the second equation okay so what is the first step you are going to do of course draw the table okay so the first equation is 3x plus 4y equals 4 so I'm going to just replace this part you will be doing 3x plus y and this side always should be 4 4 and 4 I just wrote three fours but if the steps are more we will write most most probably you will only get only be getting three steps okay so 3x which means 3 multiplied by 2 plus minus 2 because y is minus 2 so we write it like this three twos are 6 plus into minus is minus which is going to give us 2 minus 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 which means the solution for this equation is correct okay so let's check for equation number two so again draw the table write the equation up x minus 3 y equals minus 4 which means this side of the table you will be having the answer as minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 I just wrote 3 for now so replace the x right x minus 3y so x is going to be 2 minus 3 what is y multiply by minus 2 okay the value of y is minus 2 as given in the coordinates so minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 so 2 minus 3 into minus 2 is going to give you a plus 6 right 3 2's are 6 and minus into minus will give you plus so 2 plus 6 is going to give you 8 so is this e um, thing equal of course not so we cross it out and what do we say we say it as not a solution why is that because the e coordinates were only correct for this table but for this it was not correct so we say Not a solution okay girls so I hope I think everyone would have got it right and I really don't know how you all are solving whether you are really solving it with me or you all are just watching the video because I have no idea what you all are doing yes those who are really watching and those who are really interested in studying are doing it now those who hate math I have no idea what you all are doing so please try to do it with me as we do in the class okay only then you will be able to understand whether you what you're doing is correct or not okay so the next question question number three okay so let me do it along with you question number three the question is the ordered pair is three and one sorry three and minus one and the system is x minus 2y equals 5 and 2x minus y equals 7 okay so this is the question i just wrote it down so this is going to be the first one this is going to be the second one okay so 3 minus 1 so first we write it as x and y and draw the table so in the first one we are going to say it is x minus 2y equals 5 fine so which means you will be having 5 5 5 because this side it should give you 5 now this side you are going to substitute these uh, ordered pair values and solve it so x is 3 minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 because it's minus 1 so in place of y you write minus 1 so what's that going to give you minus 2 multiplied by uh, minus 1 is going to give you plus 2 right so 3 plus 2 is 5 so which means for this linear equation this ordered pair is correct well, now let's try for the next one draw the table draw the table okay so that's going to be 
2x minus y equals 7 which means you will have to have 7 on this side this part we will substitute these values here so what was the value of x it was 3 minus already it is minus 1 minus from the equation and the value of y is minus 1 that's why I wrote it like this so 2 3's are going to 2 3's are 6 minus into minus will give you plus 1 so 6 plus 1 is 7 so again this equation is also correct which means both in the table both the answers are balancing so which means you just write it as it is a solution okay good so this is how you need to continue solving the remaining questions too so question number four i'll give you a minute so start solving question number four let's see how many of you are getting it right Be very careful when you are solving the signs because you know once if you miss one sign you are going to be in big trouble because it's going to give you a different answer. Okay, I guess one minute was over and I didn't even realize it. I think one minute was over. Okay, so this is question number four for you. The ordered pair is minus one and five. So which means X is minus one and Y is going to be five, right? And the equations given are minus X plus Y equals six and two X minus plus three Y equals 13. So what's the first thing you're going to do? Of course, draw the table. Write the first equation that's minus x plus y equals 6. Okay, so in place of x, you will replace the x with the value which is given. So this minus is already in the question. Okay, so here the value of x is minus 1. So it is going to be minus 1 plus y is 5. And this side it should be 6. So minus into minus that will give you plus 1 plus 5 equals 6. So 1 plus 5 is 6 and it is 6. So which means for this equation the ordered pair is correct. Now again don't get confused why is minus minus 1 because you know here there is an invisible 1 right. So minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is positive 1. Okay now moving to the second equation uh, again draw the table. So it's 2x plus 3y equals 13. Okay. So here 2 multiplied by negative 1 because the value of x was negative 1 plus 3 multiplied by 5 should be 13. So 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 should give you 13 so minus 2 plus 5 15 is going to give you positive 13 positive 13 which means both sides of the equations are correct they are equal so which means this is a solution for the equation sorry for the system why am i saying equation is a solution for the system Okay, which means this coordinate can be used for both of these equations. Similar way you will be solving question number 9, 10 and 11. 
okay uh, but I will only give you the answer in the next video for this because I don't want to drag the video and I'm sure you girls can do it right so question number 9 10 and 11 you will do by yourself and wait for the answers tomorrow this is going to be a homework for you okay now before i finish do listen to me very carefully girls on edmodo i have created a quiz now this quiz has nothing to do with marks or it has nothing to do with the report card it is just to make sure that you understood the lesson and i taught you the lesson well that's it it's going to be a very easy quiz uh, i'll be putting you know this video you'll be watching on wednesday so which means i will uh, activate that quiz on wednesday night or most probably Thursday that's like Thursday early morning so I have given you one day time to finish that and don't play around with it of course I can see how many of you are doing the quiz and what is the score you got it is all automatic there and I don't think you can access it with the mobile I have no idea because still I did not activate the quiz so and don't give me the excuse that I we don't have laptops or computers at home everyone has that and everyone can log in through that because all of you are both the classes in A and B are on Edmodo, every one of you. So do solve the question because really I can monitor what kind, what you're doing in that quiz because it's just 10 quizzes, uh, sorry, 10 questions. Uh, this is only for your good it's only for your benefit to make sure that you have understood the lesson and you have really cleared all the things in that last four lessons just take 10 minutes to revise lesson one till four okay and i have not given you the theorems for the last lesson i did not include that because that's where most of you have got confused so other than that the previous lesson one two three most of the contents are from those three lessons so do make sure that you attend the quiz only then I can make sure whether how many girls are really watching the video and how many of you are really doing the questions which we are doing so that I can keep a record of how many girls are like really studying math okay because I know most of those who don't hate, like math and those who hate math they are really not worried or bothered to watch the math, watch the math videos so only if you attend that quiz I can make sure that you how many of you are really doing that quiz and don't play around again I'm telling you I can really see who has attended the quiz and in how much time I have given you 45 minutes to finish the quiz you just have to choose the answers that's it okay girls so it will be activated from um, Wednesday night that's almost like a uh, Thursday so a whole Thursday you have to finish the quiz anytime just take 10 minutes or 15 minutes and finish off the quiz this is only to make sure that you girls are really studying the lessons that's all okay girls so I hope you will do what I have asked you to do uh, so until we meet in the next video stay safe and take care of yourself and don't forget to attend that quiz